Surrogate Protocol is a story about a man who changes identity every 15 years because he isn't aging and dying like everyone else. Not being able to age is a very scary thing because it attracts attention. So I wanted the book to be real in that sense that if you indeed have such a gift, people will find out about you and cut you up. And when you have a secret like that, you don't hide it in a very civilized place. You want to take it as far away from civilization as you can. So you would find a tiny remote island at the southernmost tip of the Asian continent and chuck it there, not knowing that it will become a metropolis one day. Well, in the story, Landon is a barista. He has been a barista for as long as he could remember, with a really terrible memory that is probably the, the best job you could do because you have a routine to it and you judge a lot of things that you do by your other senses, your smells, your taste. So these are in a way muscle memory. You don't forget them, even you have amnesia. Honestly, I did not intend the novel to be an ambitious one because the characters are not many, but the settings are quite, there are quite a few settings. Well, the settings are necessary because there is a huge timeline to go through. And if you are talking about someone who doesn't age, this timeline is, is much longer. And that gave me the idea of two timelines, one progressive and one regressive. I had to find a way to establish a narrative that is progressive, which is the usual narrative, and one that helps to demonstrate how Landon goes through the process of finding his origin. I think being an architect helps in the sense that it might help me to be a little bit more sensitive to places, to spaces, but ultimately it is still the discipline of refining, be daring and cruel to your own work because it's exactly the same with art and architecture. If something don't work, no matter how pretty it is, it doesn't stand alone, you have to cut it off. I hope to be a writer who questions and put forth ideas because I think that is the, the fun in fiction, to inspire people to explore certain things that wasn't previously explored.